Oh, you're already here? Oh, everything's already here. It's not just you. Trains is already here. Hello. Right, so... Uh, yes, sorry about the delay in starting. There was a delay. And... Uh, yes, so... Last time... Hello, Kango Fango. Last time, we worked on this bit. Put a whole lot of stuff on here, including trees. So what I want to do today is I want to finish up these grassy areas here, put in some texture, some uh, grass plines, and then I would like to extend further this way and see if we can get over to where the town is going to be starting. Uh, just, I just now saw that you are live. Great, I only just now went live. Hello, Anthony Sarson 2, welcome. Sorry for the delay, there was a delay. So, I think I'll use the same technique that I used in the Milton Valley over here, where I was basically using this darker texture with grass plants and patches, and then this light texture in between the gaps. At least I have been, I've ever been, ever, huh? Wait, you moved the cat chat. Um, yes, because, well, your face cams were in the way. <laughs> Oh, to your stream. Ah, sure. I mean, I'll, if you say so. That's not quite right. Was, was it really that small? I think a bit of a larger pattern might look a bit better. So if I paint a little bit of this in here. A little bit over here. Uh, right, anyone up for VC tonight? VC today? Haha, -ha, snap. Uh -huh. uh, if you would like to, sure. I'll have to open up Discord. <laughs> I believe you. Okay, so... I mean, that looks quite good, but I'll draw this over. Or didn't we see if you want to join? Okay, sure. One moment. Uh, I need to start up Discord. Ah, you've changed your color. Hello. <laughs> I hope that this volume is going to be fine. Whatever you want to do. Sure. It, no, that's the wrong color. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Hold on, let me get your stream. Uh, I think, is this the one? Is that the one? I think that might... Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Uh, is it this one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one? Turn this down a little bit like that. I think it was that one. I think that's the one. I think that's the one, yes. Yeah. Alright, anyways, hello, Shardai's voice. Voice? Hello, voice. Your voice is- my voice is famous. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is actually not a lie, because I was actually on the radio. Yes, uh, I remember you told me. <laughs> so, technically, that's not a lie, your voice is actually famous. Right, I'm just gonna turn down my train's volume, so it's not, like, too much in the background. Thank you. Just a warning, I- just warning, it might be in the background a bit, though. Eh, it doesn't bother me if it's a little bit. Okay. 
Uh, I should become the next Coliseum MOD. The next what? Sorry? Coliseum oh. MOD. What does MOD stand for? Manager on duty. Ah, so what would that entail? So like you're basically the person. The, basically, like, you ever heard of a dispatcher? Mm-hmm. I see. He's the dispatcher, and also he's the person that's like, uh, if you are riding in this car, you'll be boarding at this side of the station. If you're riding in this car, you'll be boarding down there at the firehouse. You know, you know what I mean. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, like, why'd Saturday stream get canceled? What happened? Um. Basically. Uh, trains did a database rebuild when I wanted to stream, and that took two hours, so we're back. Okay. And the stream itself would have lasted two hours. <laughs> yeah, so by the time that the database rebuild was done, they, there was no point in streaming because the time had already elapsed, so yes. That's you know what I think I could do? You know how I think I could do a route tour of the Cowboy Scenic is that um, I could, like, do it with sharing my screen because I know if I send it to you, my friend wouldn't be happy. So, mm -hmm. besides, it has a third, a lot of third-party assets. So, ah uh, yes, I mean that could work. Uh, do you mean? I'm assuming you mean privately. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of third-party assets, so I couldn't send it to you. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Depends on time. Because I mean, it's about like a fifty-mile route. It's not like basically everything beyond like like the uh, thirty-three mile mark. It's pretty boring. Hmm. I'd All say right. like thirty-three, forty miles. It gets boring. How long do you think it would take? Um, I think it might last about the time that we have for stream. If not shorter, depends on how fast I go through it. Hmm. Maybe we'll we'll discuss it later. Okay. So, what routes have, been, have you been working on? Um, Belfast and UA Pond. That pond I built in Belfast, for some reason I accidentally clicked don't save instead of, state, instead of save when I was exiting mm. out and I forgot to save before. So, I lost the pond, so I have to remake it. Yeah, that sometimes happens to Which everybody. Is kind of a shame. It's kind of a shame, because I really like that pond too. Yeah, but the thing is, whenever you do something creative like that, the second time you do it, it's almost guaranteed to be better. Yeah. I remember when I, when I first lost, when I thought, I remember when I uh, lost Riverdale, remember when that whole bug was happening where like it deleted mm -hmm. all the baseboards and left one? Yep. Yeah, I remember when that happened to like literally almost every route I had, and I got, so, I was so mad. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, that's a lot of progress just down the drain. Mm-hmm. By the way, if I were to do a route tour, would you want me to do the winter version, which is not as great, or the summer version, like, where it's, like, more detailed? Probably summer version. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you're going to Brooklyn, you're gonna wanna hop on the Speeder Express department on track four. <laughs> the Speeder Express. Yes! Oh, yeah, sorry to hear that. Mm, uh, same kind of thing happened to me two days back as well, yesterday. Okay, yes, sure. <laughs> Although I think I should point out that two days ago is not yesterday, which I think is probably implied by the asterisk. But you can never be too sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the uh, last snow train out, which departs at three thirty. So, just gotta take the engine out of it. Um, just gotta move the engine. Um, yeah. Departs at fifteen thirty. Okay. So I gotta change the clock. Yes, I'm changing. Wait, did you time. mean did you mean that you wanted to show me the route now? No, 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 no. Ah, no, yes, no, that no, was. No. That's there. Yeah, I'm. If I'm showing you the route now, you know. Yes, I. I don't have. And I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be too happy if I was. <laughs> yeah, because I want because to get a little bit of building done. Here's another thing. Would you prefer me to do it in surveyor, or would you prefer me to do it on a train? Mm, it depends on how long it would take. I think a train the speed that most of the way is about like twenty five. In the notch, it's like 10. On the redstone branch, it's 10. Going to Conway, it's 20. I think I would prefer Surveyor, considering that I don't have that much time, usually. Okay. I think you can hear the bell in the background. A tiny little bit. 
Oh right, that's what I wanted to do. I just was thinking, what did I? What was I doing last time? Then I just looked over here and saw the road. Uh, yes, I remember what I wanted to do. Two sixteen, stop. <laughs> that's the number of my engine. Two sixteen. Donut train. <laughs> the donut train is what Kango Fango said. <laughs> the donut train. Yeah. Two sixteen, clear about five feet. I mean, if you can have a gravy train, why not have a donut train? Yeah. Technically, you can't put donuts in the boxcars. And in the cab. Oh wait, do you remember, remember when you're, you're building that like little uh those industry spurs? Uh, I don't know where it is on the route on that. Um. Oh, I know it wasn't recently, but remember when you're building those like industry spurs that was on that like road? Yes. Remember, you're like, name some things that would get dropped off at an industry. I'm like, pickles. And you're like, okay, pickles, that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it depends on if I have a load for it. It could legitimate be, legitimately be that there's a warehouse there that specializes <laughs> in <laughs> distributing pickles. <laughs> exactly, that's not too uncommon, I guess, as you could say. <laughs> yeah, it depends on if there's a load for it. Although, I suppose I could I make... Don't. I could make my own load for it, because I do know how to do that. I don't know how to do you the modeling bit. The DLS. You might be able to find one on the DLS. Yeah, maybe. I did make a load for a tanker truck, which is um, waste water. Or, well, waste, waste product. I have no liquid. idea how to make loads. <laughs> uh, I'm, it's, it's... Is it hard? Mm, making a load that needs a model... A 3D model? I don't know. Making a load that does not, like for example, uh, a liquid load, is actually fairly easy. And the pickles. Can't pickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, with the pickles, I'm. if I did do that, I might just duplicate general goods asset and modify that. I don't know. Anyway, let's rechat. Um, right. Asterisk. Uh, implied it. Yep. Oh, what? Don't train? Oh, right, driver. I, I can. Oh, yes, road. Leza pops out of vent. Shh. Goes back into vent. Oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to read that out loud. My mistake. Hello, VGR. Welcome. Oh, VGR's here. Hi, VGR. Uh, DES pickle pallet load. Fake. <laughs> Psst. Hello. Welcome in. No need to for redundant s secrecy here. Yes, that is kind of implied by you saying redundant. Make yourself comfortable. Oh. Oi, I'm sassy here. Oh, yes, yes, come on. We don't want to disturb Eliza if she's being suspicious. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very much Mm-hmm. Little bit of this, little bit of that. Just a bit of this. Okay. I'm dumb, but not that dumb. I don't know what I'm saying, not that dumb for. Uh, ah, nice to meet you, Sassy. I'm Kango Fango. Yes. I think that's a misspelling of Susie. Uh, where's that box? No, not the box. I mean, caboose that I was using earlier. I have no idea. I don't even know what it was called. This is no. It was a very strong question. Yeah, I know, VGR. It was a joke. Okay, so. Almost done with those ones. Okay, I'll do that when I extend it. Once you can hear the waterfall. You're you so. Know Mm-hmm. Sorry, good. Go, no, you go ahead. Okay, did you know what GP11 is what I think? Um, it sounds familiar, but uh, do, do they have a very unique look to them? Uh, they kind of look like GP9 RMs. Kind of. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I heard the name before, but I don't know if I actually saw a picture of them. Yeah. 
All right, Vijay says, you're so sassy. I know my $19 Fortnite card. I do not get that reference. I know, of course, Fortnite, but I don't get the reference. Oh, it's that. Oh, I know what it is. The caboose or the reference? <laughs> $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? And yes, I'm giving it away. So, uh, share, share, share. I... Could you please explain? I don't know, it's just something I found once. <laughs> oh my god, I'm Oh, something. sauce. Not, not source, but sauce. <laughs> hey, Stardust, you want to hear a little mind trick? Go ahead. Alright, there are 503 bricks on a plane. One falls off. How many are left? Five hundred three bricks are on a plane. Mm -hmm. um, what falls what? off, and how? And how many are left? One less, I'm assuming, but that's the obvious answer. Yeah. yeah how much? How many are left? Can you fango? Since you know this, do not tell Shard Eyes. What was the number you said again? Five hundred and what? Three bricks. Three five hundred three bricks are on a plane. One falls off. How many are left? Five hundred and three. Minus one, yeah. five hundred and two. Is that right. a? Now is... you... Yes. Now, how do you put an elephant in a fridge? With a lot of rope. No, you open the door, put the elephant in, and then close it. Now, how do you put a giraffe in a fridge? With a crane. Open the door, take the elephant out, put the giraffe uh. in, and close it. Now the Lion King is having a party. All the animals are there except for one animal. Which animal? Um, his father, because he died. No, the giraffe, because he's in the fridge. Now, Sally has to get across the river of alligators, but she makes it across safely. How? She rode the fridge. No, <laughs> she ju the alligators are at the party. But Sally dies anyway. How? The scorpion bit her. Well, well, injected her with venom. She was hit in the head by a flying brick. Ah. That's the mind trick. <laughs> ah, right. I did that to my friend once. He was like, I like how it goes farther and farther away from the beginning and then it goes right back to the brick. Yeah, I do like that. Because it, it, it sounds, in the beginning, you sound like they're all independent of each other. And the trick is that they're all connected. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That is... Okay. That's nice. Yeah, I just had to play the old mind trick on you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Extra 1751 Mountain Junction. I'm just gonna... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there will be a delay to the snow train due to a extra that has to arrive at the station. An extra? What's the film? An extra? That means like a train that's not scheduled. <laughs> I know it was a it was a uh, a pun a, on a joke. <laughs> a joke. Yes. Okay. If you can tell, I'm not exactly the brightest person in the world. No, it's it's because in so when in in films, you've got three main well. Uh, well, technically four main types of cast. You've got the main cast. Who are like the? You've got the leads, who are the leading characters, who get paid the most. Then you've got other uh, speaking roles, which get paid a little bit less. Then you've got non-speaking roles, but those so those are characters who appear in the foreground, but they don't ever say anything. They get paid a little bit less still. And then you've got extras, who are just in the background somewhere to fill in scenes. And they get paid even less than that. So. By the way, I have my camera on. If you just want to, you know, if you want to put down the stream, you can. But I have my, I'm saying you now. Yeah, that can't. That doesn't really work, because oh. of the way that I've got it set up. Oh yeah, because the chat. Um, yeah. And plus, it's it's not that easy to do that. I would have to create a new element in OBS for the. 
um, okay. for the Discord window and then crop it and move it and that would take a while. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. <laughs> you might be able to hear the horn. It's a pretty quiet horn. Can't hear, the, heard it, but can't hear the horn, but I can hear the bell very, very quietly. Okay. Oh, the elephant. Yeah, it's a pretty now. Your, your elephant thing reminded me of a Groucho Marx joke. I just thought of a joke. Alright, why did the teacher wear su sunglasses to school? Because it was Sunday. No, because she had bright students. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Oh, uh, that one makes. I, I won't play that one. The one that you just told me because it was Sunday. <laughs> the yeah. Wait, the, but you, there's no school on Sundays. There's no school on Sundays though. Um, that's a good point. Although maybe they've got meetings on Sundays. Even if if the the children aren't, if the the students don't go, then maybe the teachers still do, because of meetings and things oh, like yeah. that. I don't know. I remember during the COVID year, the teachers had to do that because they had to organize everything with COVID and all that, so they were there the weekends. Hmm. Yeah, the Groucho Marx joke I was thinking of is, let's see, how, how does it go? Um, no, VGR, I barely ever talked to, I just realized that, I barely ever talked to at all. <laughs> yeah, he says, so he's, so this is, this is him, Groucho Marx, playing a, an African explorer, like in the 1920s or whatever, and he okay. could just come home after many, many adventures, and he's speaking about things, and then he says, um, like he's boasting, saying, "One morning, like one morning, I woke up and I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I'll never know." Oh God, <laughs> that's an interesting one. Yep. All right, I want to hear the people in the chat's opinion. Is this a good horn or a bad one? <laughs> That was not that clearly audible. There was a lot of background noise, probably from the motors. Oh, yeah. I'll, when I get in the yard my, and shut the engine down, I'll, I'll blow more. Uh, how about, um, what's your opinion on this one? Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. This one. Yes, that is a train horn. I know that's a good point. I could use the setup for Robin's face cam, probably. If you really wanted your face on stream and archived, then I could do that. But are you sure? Yeah, I'm on. Hmm? I'm on. Sure. Okay, I'm so right you want so you want me to put it on stream, yes? Yes, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if this will work. Hold on. Uh... Would it be this one? I think that's the one, yeah, that should display the little image there. Yes, that should theoretically work. Um... The pajama thing, mm-hmm. You finally managed to calm down. Good. Do I want to ask uh, what was the matter, up. or do I not want to ask that? Uh, hello. Yes. Okay. My out. <laughs> so yes, that should now. Face reveal. There we are. Face reveal. Hello. Yep. Hi. Okay. So. I know. Hmm? I look ugly, I know. <laughs> mm, yeah, it is a bit laggy. It is. Extra 1751, the North Yard Crossing is protected. Copy, crossing protected, 1751. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. I should, like, I, I might start streaming Comic Scenic, but I'm not sure if... I don't know. I might. Ever. 
I'm not entirely sure if the face cam is gonna work if it's that laggy. Alright. I can turn it off if you'd like. Mm, I think I'm gonna hide it. It's just okay. might be a little Yeah. Might lag the stream. Yeah, not the stream, but if people are watching then if the face cam's that laggy it might be in yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Right, so Let's see, do I need... I think I'm going to put some grass plants on the left there as well. And then I think we're probably ready to add some baseboards. Maybe. Okay. Okay. When's the last time you seen Kanga Fango miss a stream? Hmm. Probably sometime in 2020. Well, I don't know, maybe a bit later. Well, I mean, he watched the archives. The only reason he wasn't on the stream is because he didn't have Twitch. Ah. Anything, right? In yes, in that. If if you if we're accounting for that, then I think never. Yeah. Well, as long as we're only talking about my streams. <laughs> I think uh, he has missed a few of mine. I, I haven't. I don't stream that often, though, so I don't have like a set schedule for streaming. Yeah, and sometimes it just doesn't line up. I, I have to go. I okay. have to hop off. So sure. See ya. Bye. I don't know VGR. So baseboards. That right there is one baseboard. Why does it always look so tiny? Also, how did I get up here? How did I get here? Hmm. Mm, hold on. One moment. Uh, please, probably. It's better the environment, and that's why you can't put GPUs today. What? I don't, I have no idea what you mean. Uh, cancel. One moment, that's... I need to, one moment. I think that's right. Plus, alright. Plus it's bad for the environment, that's why... Spend three million on a JPEG of a monkey to go to a party on a yacht. I I don't know. I don't know any of the context. So if you see an NFT when you browse the internet, remember it's always morally correct to screenshot it. Um Depends on your morals, I guess. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so... That goes that way. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want this to go straight on for a little while? Hmm. Well, if you say something is always correct, then that would indicate, well, that, that would uh, presuppose a, an, a completely objective statement. But since morals, by definition, are subjective to the individual, as is saying that something is stupid, that kind of contradicts it. But I get what you mean, and now that I vented, back to the subject, the subject at hand. Oh, ah, there it is, right there. Um, <laughs> okay, so how do I want this to go? Do I want to go straight or do I want it to turn a little bit more? 
I think I want to have the town at a 45 degree angle. Because, simply because of the uh, painted, uh, the, the, the terrain paint. Because if it's on the grid, if it's in line with the grid, and you can see here you can get some of this uh, like uh, stepped look to it. So, or if over it's going in exact, exactly in line, it can look very unrealistic because it's very uniform. So in the, in the town where I want, probably want a little bit more detail, some things like that, I probably want it on a, like a 45 degree angle, which means I want a left hand curve, which means I'll probably have the left hand curve going like this. And then, let's see, how, how far would that be? So left hand curve like that. And then the town probably starting around here, going off. Then I'll add t three more, because I do want some industries up here. Not a lot, Since, but since, actually, hmm. I think I want a piggyback uh, trailer loading, unloading thing. Which would also double as a container loading, unloading place if you're running more modern stuff on it. Because I do quite like the thought of taking container train, double stack containers through here because of how tight that is. So, that's one thing I want up here. So, I'm going to need uh, a little space for that plus a run around. I'll probably want, what I said before, I probably want logs. So having an area where the logs loaded with a crane. <clears throat> and then having a general goods unloader. Actually, that's a, good, that's a good question. Where does the cement go? Because cement is being made here. I know some of the cement is going to go into the city down here. But I do also quite like the idea of taking cement up here because of how heavy it is. Though maybe cement will go up into one of these directions. So we take so you could you'd take empty state cars up there, full ones down, containers up there, or or piggyback things up here and or down. So, what other thing do I want up here? Because the grain, I would like to go up here, so, um, well, down here along this valley to the town which is going to be in here. And then that is going to turn, turn it into general goods or food, basically, which is going to go everywhere. Well, it'll go everywhere if the train crashes, but you know what I mean. Piggies? Schweinchen? No, piggyback, which is when you load a truck's trailer, so like a road trailer, onto a flatbed. It, I think it was pioneered by the New York Central, if I remember correctly. By the way, it seems World War III didn't happen yet. Ah, yes, I've heard the news as well that it didn't happen yet. seems that um, things might go well, I don't know. We'll see. So... Okay, I think I'll start with the piggyback location, the piggyback thing, slash container thing, log loading, because I do want a significant amount of log trains up here. So we've already got one log loading facility, which is here, which I still have yet to name and or set up, I think. So we'll take logs from up here, uh, down all the way to the sawmill here. And then I think there is also, yeah, and then you can take planks up to here. Ooh, that's a thing. Planks. 
I might have a like a, a factory here turning planks into general goods because I think I've got one at Nothasia. I think that this one here turns them into the other thing. Um, yes, so this turns lumber into general goods, which I don't think I've set up the numbers correctly for this yet, or maybe I have, I don't know. At some point I'll have to do, basically go over all of them and then redo that. So, I think that could work well. Going over here, so if you imagine having a, a freight train taking planks or lumber up here to not see here, decoupling a bit, pu pushing it into the industry there, then taking the rest, running around and taking it all the way up here. I think that would work quite well. So then we've got general goods, piggyback slash, uh, sorry, piggyback slash container, and we've got lumber to general goods, which means that maybe we don't, or maybe log is up here as well. So that could be quite nice. Yeah. Still there, so it may happen. Then there was trouble. The bend on the mountain pass was too sharp, and Dylan, the GP38, went too fast, and he got switched onto the derailleur. Cement went everywhere. Mm -hmm. Done it, he muttered. Brother, added his driver. Brother, not brother. Ha. Like a derail sabot. Sabot? Or a short turnout? Oh, like, yeah. Affirmative. Mm hmm. So let's do this. First, I need to set the height to up here. 307.5 meters, it would seem. So I'm going to set the height. Well, actually, I might as well do start with, a, with copy and pasting right away. OK. Oops. And then once we've built this little town up there, it's only going to be a very small town. So mostly, it may probably like only like three or four streets in the woods. And once we've done that, then this branch will be finished as well. Well, I say finished. We'll still ha I'll still have to put in a dike and a new uh, outlet for the lake down by North Sea, but yeah, then this will be finished. Ah, I thought you were going to say three or four streams. <laughs> no. A dike or a dike? I think a dike, probably. Being a bit delicate here, just to do this properly. Oh right, this texture back here, I remember this, I wanted to use this somewhere. Probably in the town actually, but what kind? The artificial kind. The dikey kind? Dikey? <laughs> Who knows, maybe. Maybe that's the plan all along. Ah, gotcha. Actually, would this also work when zoomed out this far? Ah, yes it would! Although, I think I'll turn this over to be... to not have a terrain height map on. So that now you can see, I can just click in here and slowly, well, actually quite rapidly, fill in this area. Maybe even zoom out a little bit further. Maybe like that? That'll work? Yes, that'll work. Ooh, yes. Very useful. Clever, thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now let's turn the height map back on. Zoom in, here we are. And it's pretty much pretty flat. A few divots here and there, but that's okay, we're gonna put terrain over here as well. Ha! Huh, the last shape looked like pixel art. Ha! Huh. Which it is technically, yes, you're right. Okay, so. Hmm. Alright, I'll. Not this row. <laughs> track. No, I want this track. So let's put in the curve, which I want to be about like this, I think. That might be good. So then, how do I want the town to be? So, also, another thing that's worth mentioning is that I want this to also end in a portal. So that you can have AI trains going into and out of this branch. So it's, I think that if this is the main sort of length for the town, maybe a little bit more, maybe like there, or where, well, where, where the town is going to be adjacent to with a station, maybe I can have this be on a hill so that it's straight on a on the, on the horizontal axis, but not on a vertical axis. That could be fun. So then this comes out like that, and then have a little curve going over like this, then going over like that, and that's where the portal will be. So the trains can come in and out there. Then I'll need to put in some uh, spline points to make these curves a little bit better. Actually, this one, I can just move that closer. Put one in there with that like this. That seems okay. Although that is going into the opposite direction a little bit. It's so like that. Like this. Okay, so... Yes, I know what you mean. That'll go back here. So then let's just connect this with an S bend. Although I think it might look better if I have a little bit of a straight piece in here. Maybe like that. Actually, maybe a little bit closer. Maybe change this angle slightly like this. And that angle slightly... Oh, well, actually, that was okay. Oh, you want to have a portal? Will you also have a salt mine? Um, not here. If there were more deserty bits, then sure. Although, I suppose, rock salt... Hmm. Okay, I'll... Let's actually, let's see what kind of stations are available. So remember, I put some stations in here. I think this one's too large, yeah. That's not the right thing. <laughs> okay, let's... Mm, that's not what I wanted. Let's go down to... Let's go down to here and see what sort of stations... So I remember... Well... I don't think I want stations like this. I think this would be too large. But maybe... 
There's no team problem control set in Michigan. Yeah. Okay, let's. I, mean, I might be able to use something like this. Uh, or, let's hold on, I'll go over to Nothasea and grab the station building here. CNR, that's what I wanted. And then look if there's a similar one here, because I don't want to use the exact same one. Although I suppose maybe I could, but. I would like to use a bit of a different one. Maybe this one. I think that could work quite well. Freight sheds. Uh, not quite. Or that one, maybe. I think that one might be better. Ha! Huh. Station one halt. No, it's, this is not a British route. It's not. Hmm. <coughs> That's almost right. Is that better? That's pretty much spot on. Now just to move it slightly over so that it overlaps perfectly. Okay, now I need to figure out which one's no longer straightened. I think it's this one. Yes. Yes? Hold on. <clears throat> yes. <coughs> Bit of water. No, not up there, down here, yes. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Also, it'd be nice to have a curved station hold one as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can delete that building and connect this to the station. Okay, so now let's see. I want there to be a passing track here, which can also double as a, uh, a passing loop. Because you will need to have to, you will need to be able to turn trains around here. So let's go to, uh, about there. Go about here. Let's see. It's mm, difficult to tell. One, two, three, four, four and a bit diagonal. And then. Oh, let, let's, let's see, it goes around the corner like that. Let's have it kind of start maybe here, the passing loop. That would be one, two, three, four, and a bit. So like here, is that straightened? Uh, no, that's not straightened, good. And I can attach this, straighten that. Okay, seems like a reasonable passing loop to me. Slash runaround track. Although I suppose Moses supposes his doses are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. No, um, I suppose I could have another track here. So it would be one, two, three, four. So like that. Well, 
which means that a train will be able to run around here without having to pass the signals onto that line. Plus, if you've got a caboose or things like that, that'll make that easier as well. And then I'll have another one of these Let's say here, maybe one, two, three, four, there. Don't think that's too steep. No, that should be fine. So that way we've got several loops here that can be used for different things. Oh, also, yes, sorry, yes, sorry, is that I already read that. <clears throat> so actually let's flatten this because the that would be a bit in the way and I'll put the verticality in in a little bit I just want to get that basic layout done first so I can choose where I want to put the verticality in so yes yes let's look for interchange is that what it's called no Hmm. Might as well do it manually, okay. Let's put in the multiple industry. I want to put in the piggybacking the piggyback thing first, I think. So I want the town to be mainly on the left here. I already know that. So then there would be so if this is the lead, then I would probably have a junction going off like this. Or maybe even before that. Hmm. Or hmm, I was originally planning to have the junction facing that way, so that if you come in from a, from here, you could go over here and then turn out into the industries. But thinking about it, it might actually be better if I have it the other way, so that it's actually facing that way, so that you can turn up from this. So you come in here, and then maybe you can already go into the industries from here. That way, since there's a portal back there, for trains, you would have to continue on straight like this, then either drop off your cars here, and then theoretically continue ahead, or in, in multiplayer or something, you can put your cars here. And then turn around. Actually, no, you wouldn't do that. Because if you, you'd come up here, got your cars, you'd have to come up further, probably up to, say, here. And then back into the industry. I think that would make for some more interesting switching. A little bit of water, Shere says. We get a close-up of his face cam. A glass of water gets flung into frame from the left. Charles catches it with his right hand and drinks from it. Much better, he explains. He also... He, uh, he lets go of the glass, but it stays where it is, floating in midair. The audience laughs. What? Charles says. This happens in every stream. Didn't you notice? <laughs> the audience is aghast. Before cheering wildly, fade to black. Exclaims. All right. <laughs> I mean... Much better would also w w explains would also work. <laughs> that is fun. So I think I'm going to have that because that's just more interesting switching. So let's see. If I want to have yes, have a lum well a, a timber loading here, I'm I think I'm going to have a little space like in between here, and that's going to be used for the timber. Let's see what what orientation is this? Two to eight point three. Okay. So, 2, 2, 
Let's go 228. That seems a bit too much. Actually, no, that's, that's right. It's only the angle. So, this would be the loading for the logs. And then, and then I could just have a parallel track for the piggybacks slash containers which that could work so let's see what would it be like if I had these like that <clears throat> pretty close but that's okay so then you can have both things happening at the same time it doesn't need that much space in this case all right so Let's say we will do that. Now, where do I want the goods thing? I think probably around here someplace. So let's, let's put it there. And I want to use the rusty one. Have this go a little bit straight like that. Then have this come in to here. Okay. So if you've got a train with box cars to unload here, the general goods, come you'll come up here, go forward, then reverse in. So you probably detach the caboose here, reverse in, drop off your cars, go forward, then collect your caboose, and then be on your merry way. Uh, although we'd have to get a wedding cake. So for this bit. I think I wanted the junction to actually be on, on here, which means I'll have to put in a little straight bit. Is that good? Like that. So then this can come out an angle like this, or a Saxon, who knows. And that's going to work. Merry way, maybe in the Christmas season, but no. <laughs> I think this needs a bit more like that, and then this needs to be extended slightly. Okay, so. This is going to be the lumber, well, the timber. Actually, do I want that? Hmm. Actually, thinking about it, actually, no, I wanted to have it over on the side, because if I do want to have the lumber unloaded here and turn it into general goods, which I think I do, I will need two more. Or, well, technically I need one more. Which will need to be some sort of platform-based thing. So probably like that. Then this comes over like this. Probably need some sidings over on this bit. Actually, maybe just one siding will do. At an angle, Anglian, Saxon, vote Saxon, wah <laughs> Yes, you got all of it. So... Then I'll need a little straight bit in here. 
for this to come join up. Okay, so this will be just siding and this will be the factory where they turn the lumber into general goods. So then this will be the piggybacking thing. So I think for this bit I want it to... Well, how long would I need it? Actually, if it's a piggybacking thing, it might actually need to be quite long. Hmm. I would put it along here, but I can't because that's where the... I want the factory to go here, which means it can't be that long unless I change the angle and go that way with it. But I don't want to do that because that would make it feel too large. Let's just make this go straight until here. And then I can have the edge there. Well, straight-ish. Fish? Do you see fi No. Um, okay, so that'll go to here. Let's, okay, let's just... Let's put in the junction here and then, or the points. Connect that and then I'll think about where I need sidings to go on this bit. Actually, this should be a little bit closer. This one should be a little bit further away. Nope, not that one. Uh, okay, I'll put this one on temp locked. There we are. Okay, so that means I'll need a big asphalt area here. So now ideally there'd be a bigger yard lead here so you can come out and put, put other things in but there really isn't that much space so I think this will have to well okay so you can put in cars up to there and you're gonna have to pull them out and shove them in somewhere else so I think I'll what I'll do is put in a siding that goes up like this and this is just so that if you have a longer piggyback train coming in you can if you're reversing in here to load you can put some of your empties in there come forward load up the ones that you've got up to the last car basically almost hitting the bumpers there which is which is a fair thing then you can come out again which means you will have to come out on the main line a bit unfortunately then collect the ones that you are that are in here then come out again then come forward load those in and then you're gonna have to come out on the main line again put it over here run around and then you can go back that way so that would well <coughs> would work well I mean Exciting stuff. Will there be a local shed? Probably. Oh wow, I've just seen the time in your menu bar. It's 13, uh, 30 o'clock. 30 o'clock? That, yes, definitely. I nearly fell off in surprise. Nearly fell off in surprise? What? Oh, that. <laughs> yes. So, right, that'll go down that way. This will be fine. For the loading, there's going to be the logs, and there's going to be the planks to general goods, which means I'll need. Well, yes, I, I'll I'll put in an engine shed, and I think I want this to be another little steam thing over here still. So. Do I want to put over here or maybe I'll just put it over here 
What about that? I could just have this Carry on, have the shed down back here where the general goods unloading thing is with a little water tower and a <clears throat> cooling stage. I think that could work. Let's have a look over here what this looks like. I could reuse this. So you'd unload coal there and load it in there. That could work, because that way you could maybe even have a little bit more interesting switching. So I think I'll use one more of these ones, which means I'll have to have a another uh, switch. Which means... I mean, technically I could just... <laughs> I could just put it on the main line, but... I mean, that could work. <laughs> that would be a little bit uncommon. But that could legitimately work. Hmm. Let's actually try this. Oh, mm, I'm not sure. Because I don't know how realistic it is. I'll have to check if the doubles text fitted through there. No, it would have to face this way. Although I suppose I could have it face the other way if it's... I thought for loading the little loco here, but if it's this way, that that's the unloading bit. I think that could that could work. Maybe. It was otherwise it's clipping through the other track. Well, I would have moved the track over. But yeah, this way it also works better with doubles tax and things like that. Let's see, which one of these is straightened? Okay, that one. Ah. ah, I remember. Hold on, gotta find the other track. Mr. Snipes, hello, welcome. That's not what I want to hold on. Oh, I see what happened, yes, okay. Actually, you know what, no. I'll put in another point there, then delete that, then connect this, and then connect that. Which means I'll have to use the height of this one on this bit already. Um, can I move this into the ground or not? Oh, I can, but then that'll mess with this bit, so... I guess I'll just have this whole thing a little bit higher.
Hold on, let's see what kind of track they've got here by default. Nope, it's still floating. Anyway, so I guess I'll have to do it like this, ish. It's not too bad. Except for this bit, I'll have to raise that up. Now what to do about water? Oh yeah, that's another thing, the river. Because the river will probably come along this way and then um, just kind of... Hmm. Actually, I might put it into a culvert here, so it goes underneath here and then comes out here. Actually, let's see culvert. What sort of culverts do I have? This, maybe. Those are too small. Maybe that one could do. But I think probably this one. So this would be where it comes in. And probably one over here as well. Actually, there, there, that's a good idea. I should make a character in my prototype frog game who's a snipe bird. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so that's where the river goes. Very long pointy peak ones, yes. <sighs> okay. Let's have a look. How did we solve the water problem over here, if at all? Actually, I think I didn't because the trains would just fill water from the big water tank. I mean, suppose I might as well put another big water tank in. And by a big water tank, a water tank, I mean this water tank. I'll see Mr. Wenzel messages 21, unless you just didn't read them out. Oh. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth, Thomas. We're not caught fish. We're not a caught fish. The ultimate crossover, easy for you to say, Richard Thomas. I've got some in me. That would be nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right, I did miss those. Okay, so water tank, water tank, water tank, water tank, tank. No. I think this is probably good over here. Great water in UK. Ha. That one needs to be straightened. There we are. Alright, so you can load up here, you can load up there, and that'll work. Once a forgotten mining town, he says. Now I need a shed. I'll just go over here and grab a shed. And let's just align it. Good enough. A little bit over. I think. Yeah, I can put some grass along here, that'll be fine. And now, let's just put in the bumper while I remember. Uh, there we are, that one. And let's put them in here as well. Forty four tonner? No, I think forty four tonner would be a bit too modern, but I suppose if if you have a session in that time, sure, why not?
All right, that seems okay. Turntable I don't think I need up here. Okay, I'm going to put in the river next, and then I can think about what other kinds of verticality I want to have here. That's a bit too narrow, I need a little bit more. Yes, I'm very well aware that this is still a a 10 meter grid size baseboard. Okay, then I'll just carry along like that, and then come over like this, and then coming in like that. I might stack some of these culvert pipes next to each other. This will come over like that. This can come over like this. And just basically continue like that and then come this way. Well, <clears throat> that way, why not? And then I'll grab the water from over here the water height, I mean, drag this along this way, and you all along with it. Like that, then I need to save. Then I need to put in the culvert pipes properly. So, like here, lower it down like this. Maybe like three of them next to each other. What is this one? One, four, two, eight. One, four, two, eight. An orthographic view in trains would also be very nice. Then lower it down. So like that, ish, maybe a little bit more, maybe one more, that's a bit too much, well, actually I think that's a smaller difference, so one more should do, I think, what's that, one, two, one, four, two, eight, one, four, two, Seven, sure, why not? And then this one, hold on to your hats. It's a bit of a gap there. Like this, and then move it down a bit more. Sure, so we've got some culvert pipes there. And then I'll want three over here as well. Give me three of your best culvert pipes. Actually, are those... Ah, that's floating a little bit. Hold on. Let's just see if I can quickly fix this. Yeah, that'll work. 
Good thing I looked at that. Same thing over here. And then that should be good. Think like this. This one's rotated um, 138.2. One three eight well point two one three eight point two this one's lowered down negative four meters. So now I just need to stack these well not stack but arrange these in the right way. Oh that's actually not that bad. Put that on like that. And then this one on like this. Yes. I think that works quite well. So there would be the big so over here, in this bit, we'd have the factory for the uh, general goods manufacturer so that takes in uh, lumber, outputs general goods. And then over on this bit, we'd have the big asphalt for the piggybacking parking lot thing. Uh, Deep beneath the Soda Hills. I don't remember that song. For Madonna, deep below the Soda Hills, beneath the lakes and trees, there are some very special friends Thomas likes to see. They are the mining engines running on the mining gauge track. <laughs> yes. Hold on to your heads. Heads? Oh, I see. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so now let's see what sort of verticality I would like to play with with the tracks here. Now or later, depending, whatever you want. I think I would like it to actually come down on an incline up to this point. So let's actually put another point in there just so it's on the same height so it doesn't mess up the junction. Then let's just let's just put in a grade. How about 1%? So this would be a 1% grade like that. Ah, I see. So that's... No, because that wouldn't be flatter than would it? Would it? No, it wouldn't. So now let's... What if I just don't make these ones straight? What then? Ah, then it would work. Let's make this be 1% like that. And actually, you know what? I'll put in two spline points there so that I can straighten these two and straighten this one and that one. And it's still not going to be buried. So like that. You feel a point. Thank you. So then I think maybe having a 0.1% grade going along like that so that, so that it is still a bit of, on an elevated thing. And then it comes down here. It's a bit too little because it is already quite a high up here. So I suppose I should probably set it to that height as a base height and then put it down to the other height. And I need to actually yeah, get that. So it's about seven meters difference I need. So like this. So then let's do. 0.5. How would 0.5 fare to get us up, up to that height? I think that's not going to be quite enough. What sort of grade does this have? Grade, sorry. If we put that up to this grade, to this height, well, that's only very little. I think that actually that works quite nicely. 
So then this will go along here, going down and down and down, down to here, this is down to here, and then there's a sudden dip there, and then it comes in. I think that's interesting. Do I want any of this to be on a grade as well? I don't think so, although I don't like this being that strong. I think I prefer this to be 0.5% and then this one's a little bit steeper and then it comes up. I prefer that. Do I though? Hmm. I don't know. Let's just leave it like this for now. Will there be a grain industry on this on the route? You already know that. Next to sugar cane, you already know that there will be. What, what do you mean? What What do you mean? Can't wait for all the trees. Yes, but what do you mean by that? I'm a bit confused. I think pretty much all the rest of it could can stay flat up until this point, and then here can start climbing again. And I think I want this to start climbing at maybe like 0.7. Or maybe more than that, maybe 0.9. Because I do want you to be able to see that it's actually climbing, not just that I don't just want it to look flat. So maybe I'll put increase it even a little bit more. I think I'll probably increase it to like 1%, well maybe 1.2. So like that. Did I click on that? Yes, good. Oh right, those were the grain silos you placed next to the main line in the flat bit, right? Ah, my mistake. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so that will work. Good. Let's just place the portal. Let's just do it now, so then I don't have to do it later. What sort of setup do I have over here? Do I have any IDs set or anything like that? No. So that's okay, I don't need any of that. So let's grab the portal. <coughs> Quite the different landscape down here, isn't it? Then I'll have the portal here, although I will have to get the height and then paint it on. So that's 318.24. 318.24. Then I can paint this up like that. Just to have a base for the portal and move that onto there. Great. Or de, grade, maybe, if you want. Okay. Oh, the wind is quite intense up here. Yeah, over here as well. Um, Ak, I didn't think of that. Don't you know, you never placed the portal. Don't you know, you never placed the portal. Portal, portal, yes. So, what to do, what to do. I mean, now that I'm looking at this, this actually looks like such a good candidate for a branch. Uh, I know that I said just a little spur for cars, but imagine if this was just a little tiny branch that just went, I don't know, over to here or something like that just to an industry that's over on this bit. And it just this little branch that comes over here and then comes up to here. I think that could be so nice. Should we do that? It'll give a bit more switching uh, opportunity for things up here. Martin Airstrip. 
Probably not a mountain ester, though. I don't know what industry I want up there yet, but let's just put it in. And I'll put the grade to zero just to start with. And yeah, sure, this can be the, the rusty one. So yeah, just having this go... We get a bit of a curve like that. Straight like this. It will be straight like that. Curve around and probably go up like this. Ish. And I can have a spine point in here. Just to make that curve a little bit better. And then probably just have ones per well what one siding with a with an industry here. Which means that for the what I originally wanted this for, which is the, the, the siding to put them on, I can just have that come off I can just have have that come off here. And then Probably on this side of things. Just to about there. Oh, and those bits. Ah, right. That's not straightened. Although it should be. Oh, it was previously. That makes sense. Okay, straighten that. And then this can just be for that storage that I mentioned, or sh switching, maple leafing. Okay, so this will come over like that. Then I'll put the bumper on here. Yeah, this already fe this feels much nicer. Having this actually go somewhere back here, even if it is only like maybe a mile or something like that. Or probably even less than that actually. Well, rather. Okay, actually now, no, 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 now. Let's grab this texture because I wanted to use this in here. Although, no, let's not start texturing quite yet. Let's, I'll save and then We'll get to some of the building for the mountain stuff. So, yes, with aircraft fuel as an industry. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I love to make some old West heritage event sessions where you take Foforo Yona out for a spin or a summit for the suit. Well, that would be nice. Tell you what, let's have a quick look for airstrip. I don't think that that's that, but like maybe just the dirt thing. I don't know. I'm just I just want to find out what sort of assets there are. Oh, air strip. Runway. I mean, I suppose I could just make it myself, if I. Actually, these ones are probably going to be very useful anyway, so if I just draw on like a, like some dirt, that could literally just be it. It's probably not even going to be a com like a a commercial thing. It's probably just going to be a uh, like if there's may maybe if there's something wrong with a dam or something like that, and they need to quickly get uh, support relief up there or something like that. I don't know. And I've not confirmed that I'm going to make this, 
It's just a thing that might go there. I don't know. And I'm literally talking like half overgrown dirt patch, basically. Okay. Well, that's a good idea, but I don't know if we're going to put that in there. And now we've only got like 10 minutes left. I don't really want to... Hmm. I don't know. Well, sure. We can, we can get started on doing a bit of the terraforming already. Okay, and I want this to kind of go back here because this is where I want the town to be kind of nestled in there. This should come up, up to there and then this kind of go like this. Ooh, that's not what I want at all. I want pretty much the opposite of that. Okay, so let's just drag this out. Not the stream, the terrain. And then I'll need to figure out where the road goes as well. Because I am going to need the road to cross over the river at some point. Don't quite know if I want that to happen here or later. I think I'll have one side of the road continue on, which goes into the town, and then probably have a bridge somewhere like over here, which goes over the tracks as well, and then goes over onto... Although maybe we could have this over here. Actually, I don't need to go over because I've got it right here. I can just have it go over like that. Interesting. Although I could have a bridge here and then that just goes over in that direction. I think that could be quite nice. Uh, let's see, do I want to use the same kind of bridges here? I, on the one hand, it would be nice, but on the other hand, I do want this to feel a bit more unique. So, let's just look for Yarnish. Mm. Actually, hold on, I'll save. Oh, did I just save? Twice. I don't know. No. I'll quickly hop on. You'll get a little sneak preview of my other route that I've started. Um, there may be more videos coming of this. Ooh, videos. Ooh. Just a yes, little sneak preview. Just to grab an asset. Uh, Alright. 
Let the downloading commence, slams. Hammer. Yes. Uh, you could just use dirt text for yes and place the control tower. I think this control tower. <laughs> no, I think this would make for a very unique location. Mayor sounds good enough for me. Well, it's good because you're not going to get a better title. Make a prototype airstrip somewhere on the grid here to see if you like the look of it. No, not yet. Feel free to go over time. XTD, drag this out. Oh, rocket charge. Well, I. Thank you for the offer, but I don't really want to go over time this time. Bridge and that's oh, nice oh oh videos oh, so. Ah, uh, this looks better with shadows. Let's just go over here. And then down there. Let's just grab this bridge asset because I think this one might look quite nice, if it's long enough. I wonder why I didn't find it. It's called Yarnish Bridge. Hmm. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yes. This is nice. Will this route be merged onto the MVR? No. Simple answer, but I think you already kind of guessed that. You can see this route takes a bit longer to load than the other one did. Here we are. Let's just wait for it in, to load in and then and see if this bridge would fit across there. R4? Why? That route just then a bit of R4? Why? Okay, we've got some tracks. That's a nice start. Oh! Did I grab the wrong... Oh no, I didn't. Huh. I feared that I grabbed the wrong asset. Well, feared. Okay, so... Now for this, this will need to have a little bit of a... This will need to be a bit higher up to fit double stacks underneath there if I want those. Although maybe having it over here would be a better idea. And this can come in to about there. I think that's a bit too tall. Let's have a look at, let's place down a well car and let's see how tall it'll need to be. Ah, uh, that's a bit in the way. I think it needs to be a little bit taller than this. It's a bit too tall. Maybe this, I'll have to apply it on the other side as well. Nope, that'll that's clipping. I think that's okay. That's a little bit. No, that's a bit too close, really. Let's just hide this quickly. That's a bit easier to see. Yeah, that'll fit. Okay, so something like that, probably with some sort of support in the middle, but. 
I know there's one bridge support that I'm not I'm not sure if this is the one that I'm not really supposed to use or if this is the other one because there was one that uh, gave me trouble when I last used it like uh, it got rejected because it was uh, it, it was considered payware even though it actually wasn't payware and anyway it's a bit too broad actually I don't know I can find different supports Ooh, or maybe actually just over here like this. I know I'll need to get a thumbnail. Mm, that looks a bit too broad actually. But anyway, I can I can figure that out later. But that's going to be really nice. And you can't really see it from over here yet. So that doesn't really change this scene. Over here, yeah, that's pretty far away. What should I get as a thumbnail? This, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that looks that looks really boring. I would zoom out farther, but then the the tracks don't load. What would that look like? Eh. Eh. Average. How about that? I don't know. Map view of the baseboards? Eh, I don't know. No, 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 no. Anyway, um, um, props down to the NS Locos. Hmm. But it didn't show any NS Locos. Did I? If it's C hike, oh, unless you, you saw it on the pictures. If you insert a spline point at the center of the bridge, will it add support? I don't think so. Plus, it wouldn't really look like that. No, it doesn't. Would it be a good idea to put a signal onto the bridge above the tracks there? N no, because... Well, unless you've got, like... Um, what are they called? Interlocking signals. Where you can have multiple trains on single track going the same way. Which I think that should theoretically work in, in Tears 19. So maybe. Abutment? No. I'm not I don't want an abutment. I want supports. Uh water level close above the cover pipes? No. Map view short of the new base parts. Um it's nice but the floating track kinda break sit I think. Well it's still a work in progress. Oh no, yeah, so I'm on your pictures. Gotcha gotcha, re single. Okay, so I think I did already save. Yes. Hold on, let's just quickly do a little bit of stuff back here. And then save again. So with that, thank you all very much for watching. And shoutouts, Kango Fango streams on Sundays. We've been playing 
Euro Truck Simulator 2 with multiplayer and mini games. It's been very fun. And tomorrow will be Star Trek Pathos. So that's good. And there may be some other stuff coming up as well. Some of the videos, who knows? Depends on when I get how much time to do what. And um, pretty much that's that. So this a stream will be archived on YouTube, if I didn't already say that. And good night. Bye-bye. Ooh, on Monday. Monday there will be Train Simulator again. Train Simulator for over a month. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Bye-bye. Good night.